Hey, what's up? We're Papa Roach, and you are watching, watching Loudwire. Loudwire. Hey everyone, Gurhamid here from Loudwire again. It's Wikipedia Fact or Fiction time with the entirety of Papa Roach. Thank you guys so much for coming. Yeah, so, what's up, what's up? I rated your guys' Wikipedia, pa Wikipedia pages, personal ones, bands, songs, albums, all of it. Okay. So let's see what's real and let's see what's fake. Okay, cool. Here we go. <laughs> right. This should be interesting. Yeah. Uh, it says, Papa Roach began in January 1993 when Jacoby, you met Dave Buckner uh, on the v Vacaville? High Vacaville. Vacaville High School football field and you guys started talking about music. Yes, that is that's, true. That's that was fact. A, that was That was fact. Yeah, we, uh, I, we both played on the offensive line and he was like twice my size. He would just <laughs> crush me, you know. And then we fell in love, you know, we knew that we loved, both loved rock and roll. Yeah. And eventually, uh, I remember after like varsity football camp, um, we came back and we were like, you know, it was his, his senior year, I believe my junior year, and, um, and, and we told the coaches, we're like, we're not playing. We, we no. want to rock. <laughs> They're like, good luck with that, buddy. And all our friends clowned us. But, you know, oh. rock I'll, and roll, dude. Changed I'll, my life. Yeah. And also said that you were joined by... Uh, bassist Will James and you actually had a trombonist yes. at that point. Yes. Were you guys trying to make ska or something? Like uh, that? I mean we were just like funk, punk, whatever and, and that lasted for about a month. <laughs> you know, just somehow it's a like, month. you know, when you think about the inception of the band, you know, yeah. it's like when the sperm hit the egg. Yeah. You know <laughs> it's just that moment. Yeah. Uh, and then we're like, no, bad idea. <laughs> Terrible. Whoops. No, we, we had to go get yeah. him. We had to go get Jerry. They're like, we need a guitar player if we're going to be a rock band. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Uh, it says you guys entered the school's talent show performing Jimi Hendrix's Fire, but you didn't win the talent show. It was, we were terrible. <laughs> we thought we, I swear, man, we, were, uh, we, we did the school talent show. And uh, yeah, when we got done, I'm like, we, took, we, took, we bagged it, dude. We got this. <laughs> <laughs> and then they called us some other girl that was like extremely talented. You know, could like oh. play piano and sing, and yeah, boring. Yeah, yeah. It's like with Papa Roach, we've uh, I've been able to go through all my embarrassing mistakes with this band. You know what I'm saying? It's the best way to do it. I think. You know what I'm saying? For everyone to see, so fuck it, no secrets. Was that girl? Well, for probably on? like 20 people to see. <laughs> actually, all right, well, fair enough. Uh, Jerry, it says that you were introduced to the band through your girlfriend, who is a fan yes. of Papa Roach. Uh, but you were apprehensive about joining because Jacoby, Dave, and Will all went to different high schools. That's not why I was... <laughs> That's not fiction. That, there you that go. part is fiction, yeah. All right. The reason I, I wasn't excited about it at first is because I was a metalhead. And uh, I, okay. they, I, I had seen them play uh, without a guitar player. <laughs> with a trombonist. With a trombonist. <laughs> and uh, didn't really understand how I could possibly fit into that band. <laughs> but... Well, Jacoby kept pestering me like over the, the next week, you know, almost every day. Dude, come on. You don't have anything else to do. Come and play. Just like, okay. Or are you just like, it's not going to work? Yeah. <laughs> I said, no, nah, I don't think it's going to work out. It says Papa Roach's first tour van was called Moby Dick and inspired Jacoby's stage name. Kobe Dick. <laughs> this is correct. That's yeah. true. This is very true. How long did Kobe Dick last? Uh, well, you know what I'm saying. Thing. Three Probably tell about uh, the van yeah, right. or the person. The, the person. Oh, me? The, the Kobe Dick. I'm here. Um, until our second record, Love A Tragedy. You know, I just, I just remember reading all the interviews and it would say, Dick says, <laughs> I'm, all, uh, yeah. I'm good with that. How about we just go with my birth name? You know what I'm saying? Way cooler, Jacoby Dakota Shaddix. Yeah, I mean, you have a Way super, cooler name. super interesting birth name anyway, so. Well, no more dick. <laughs> I mean, I can give you the dick if you want it. Say no. Well, you've retired the dick, so. Yes, the dick is retired. <laughs> I bronzed it. It's sitting on a mantle at the house. Um. This is 1996, you replaced original bassist Will James, who had become heavily involved in church summer camp. Yeah, he went to, I remember he went to church summer camp and came back and was just like, 
not feeling Papa Roach rock and roll. And I remember I met Tobin. He was just slapping the bass, three quarter scale <laughs> pearl bass, dude. Little short, little mullet, dude. Just and this, I mean, literally when I met him, dude, he was like, "How how much younger than me? Four years younger than me? Three 13. years?" So he's like 13 years old, but just a slut, just murdered the bass. And I knew it. I'm like, that's the, that's the dude I was supposed to play music with. You know what right. I'm saying? Slapping and, the bass. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. And that was, I mean, ultimately, really and truly, that's when the band was really born. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was like when we became who we are now. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Uh, the Last Resort video uh, was primarily meant to show the secret lives of people and how people may not look depressed, uh, but still are. I think uh, the purpose of the, no, nah, that's false, I believe. I feel that that video, the whole kind of premise behind it was to take people from where they don't want to be, which is alone, to together with their friends at a rock show. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That was the whole MO of that video. Not necessarily like, let's showcase depression. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, I remember, yeah, it's a, have the people in the crowd and it goes yep. to them at home. And I remember that very clearly from, from way back in the TRL yeah, that, days. That was a, that, that video was so popular. I remember TRL called us and they're like, you have to come here and retire it from the chart. <laughs> and they like gave us a sledgehammer and a videotape and we had to like crush it. They were like, we, we can't play this anymore. We're like, why? Oh my gosh, <laughs> okay. I remember that. <laughs> Did you make like, the, was, it, was it like 50, 60 days at it? I don't know, a lot of days, lot of many days. days. <laughs> it was, it was up. And on another note with that song, I can't remember any other like popular rock song that got played on the radio and TV that was so heavily censored, like the, the yeah. lyrics, like completely cutting off the lyrics, like, like, don't give up if I, do you even care if I, yeah, yeah. And, and that was it. <laughs> yeah. Like, just yeah. like pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> Completely fucking ruined. Completely. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh well, I guess I mean, it is what it is, you know. Uh, it says last resort, sampled and re-recorded a riff from Iron Maiden's Genghis Khan. <laughs> That's pretty good. False. No? False. Completely right. false. Yeah. Tony right. wrote it on the piano, and then ah. transcribed it. Okay. And he never yeah, heard Iron Maiden probably at that point. Yeah. Well, since I've heard Iron Maiden a lot now and it kind of sounds like every one of their songs <laughs> you know yeah it's saying? got that melodic yeah. kind of, it, it sounds like an Iron Maiden I mean thing. Maiden essentially is like they just take a lot of that classical and put it into the distorted yeah. guitar riffs you know and you hear that and it's I mean sense because I wasn't a Maiden fan when I was younger sure when we wrote that or any like I wasn't really a metal head and then once everybody started telling us that we ripped off Maiden I was like well, we might as well check out Maiden yeah. And now I've become a fan. Like we've yeah. done tons of festivals with Maiden. <laughs> we did a we did a bunch of shows in Germany with them. And I remember the first time we showed up to play with them, I'm tripping. I'm like, dude, these fans are gonna hate us, like German metalheads. And we got up there and we played a track. Uh, we opened the show with a song called "To Be Loved," and the crowd just went fucking crazy. And I'm like, totally opposite of what we expected. We were like, what? So we come off stage and we were like, well, that, that was amazing, man. And what they were like, oh, you play the song from the WWE. We love wrestling here. All the German metalheads, we love wrestling. And it's the theme song. And I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, the song Scars, it's uh, about Jacoby's horrible night in Vegas that changed your life. And during performances, you often talk about how that song saved your life. Uh, that was def. that's all true. Okay. Yeah, that was definitely a turning point, I think, in our career. Uh, that song in particular, I remember when we were writing that. When I remember Jerry, you demoed the guitars for that, and and I, we all heard it, and we were just like, "That's different. We have to travel down that path. It's it's a uh, it's new, it's fresh, it's bold." And uh, whenever we do that, we always seem to connect deeper with our fans, and and that song was huge for us. And I remember our A and R at the time, Jen Littleton, took it into a guy named Jordan Sure president of the company and played him the songs and took this, heard Getting Away Murder and Scars and a couple other tracks and at the end of their you know little meeting he's like this band's dead what am I gonna do with this band there's I just don't hear it and then we turned around and sold 1.5 million records for his ass so there you go 
deal with it. Oh, he did. He liked it. <laughs> in 2010, your former label, Geffen Records, released the greatest hits compilation. However, you guys told fans not to buy it. That is true. True that. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. With that royalty issues. Or... No, because we were releasing an album at the same time, uh, which oh, okay. was a live album, and they were sort of capitalizing on the work that we had been doing to promote that album. Oh, okay. It's like a cash grab kind of thing for the yeah. label. So you they know? were trying to line it up as Buzz was getting Yeah, they got it out before ours was finished. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Fans didn't buy it. <laughs> All right, good. <laughs> All right, last one for you guys. Uh, the idea for the Still Swinging video came from your son, Jacoby. Uh, yeah, he loves zombies. <laughs> he was just infatuated with zombies, and we were trying to come up with a video concept for that one and pitch the idea to... Uh, that guy's name? Jason. No, not Jason Lechberg. I can't even remember the director. Uh, I feel like a dick. Oh. He came with the, he, we, we just, we said zombies, and he came up with a video concept. I killed it. Yeah, that's gotta be super rewarding, being able to kind of like work with your son creatively. <laughs> you know, he's like, like seven. Yeah, he's like seven, he's like, Dad, I, I think we should be, he'll come, my boy Jagger will come up with video concepts for every Papa Roach song he hears. <laughs> yeah, he does. He's like, Dad, I see it, like, I'm just running through a forest, and this guy's chasing me. He's always in the video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got my own oh, trailer. Cool. Yeah. No. That's good. Yeah, it's, oh, it's cool. It, it's classic. I'll, I'll play him a demo song, so I'm like, so what's the video, like bud? It. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Wow. He's like, can super intense about like, visualizing. Oh, he's intense. <laughs> he's definitely an intense individual. <laughs> That's awesome. That's my boy. Yeah. Right. Thank you guys so much right for coming. Thank you for playing our game, uh, Fear. Buy the new record. Papa Roach, everybody. Yeah. yeah.